Hi, David Dodge here from Green Energy Futures. Today we're in Duncan, British Columbia. We're here to meet up with the Cowichan Biodiesel Co-op. It's an organization that began by selling individual jugs of biodiesel fuel at the farmer's market, and today they're selling them to big bus companies in Victoria. The Cowichan Biodiesel Co-op turns used vegetable oil into something that'll run in any diesel engine. They even use solar thermal modules to provide the heat for the refining process. So this is where all the biodiesel production happens uh, in the uh, facility. You can see it's kind of like uh, a microbrewery operation. It's got some of the same size tanks that you'd see in a microbrewery. And, uh, and the waste cooking oil, once it's been preheated by the, uh, by the solar panels uh, and the heat exchanger, comes into this first tank here where it's pre-processed. Um, there's a lot of nasty stuff that happens to waste cooking oil when it's, uh, when it's cooked with. Uh, and a lot of times you have to do a titration to find out the quality of the oil before you turn it into biodiesel. It started small. Originally, they were selling jugs of biodiesel at the Duncan Farmer's Market. But starting in 2012, the Cowichan Biodiesel Co-op brought on a partner that tripled the demand for their product. Now, CVS Cruise Victoria is a sightseeing and tour operator here in Victoria, B.C. And... Uh, Behind us is one of our Prevo H340 highway coaches. It's our premier uh, charter coach. We have a fleet of 19 buses and th over 35 staff. There are no puffs of black smoke from these buses. They run on biodiesel fuel. Talk about closing loops. The cruise ships drop off their used cooking oil. It gets refined into biodiesel by the Cowichan Biodiesel Co-op, and CVS takes those cruise ship passengers on tours all over Vancouver Island. This past year, in 2012, what we did is we utilized recycled uh, cooking oil off the cruise lines. Cowichan Biofuels was uh, allowing us basically to recycle that and then put it back into the uh, tanks of our buses to use to shuttle passengers into downtown Victoria. They're now planning to produce more than 150,000 litres of biodiesel fuel this year. And they're even bringing on the local county as a customer. In case you're wondering, it costs about an additional 40 cents a litre for this micro-brewed clean-burning fuel. And another comparison we often use is like the organic food versus kind of the factory food market, that organic food produced in your community by a farmer that you know is going to be more expensive than, say, uh, stuff that's mass produced and coming from uh, some central production facility somewhere where they're using maybe, uh, you know, chemical pesticides and fertilizers. But you know where it's coming from, you know it's helping the, the local economy, and uh, you know it's healthier and better for you and the environment. And even with that 40 cent price differential, finding customers hasn't been a problem. Lynn Wittenbrock is a longtime member and a customer of the Biodiesel Co-op. She's what you would call a die-hard biodiesel fan. My $1.78 per litre goes into this community. It stays in this community and that helps the local economy. That's very important. It's like buying local food, which I also do precisely for that reason. But personally, I prefer to be on 100% as much as possible. I've even driven out to Alberta with the trunk of the car full of biodiesel so I didn't have to fill up at a gas station. And the biodiesel really is a healthier, more carbon-friendly transportation fuel. I think when you, when you lump everything together, there's about an 80% reduction in emissions uh, when you use biodiesel over, over fossil diesel. Uh, and when you look at some of the worst ones, like sulfur emissions, it's a 100% reduction. When you look at some of the carcinogens, uh, they're called PAHs, that's about an 80 to 90% reduction. Uh, particulate is greatly reduced, which is why CVS likes to use it uh, for taking the tourists around Victoria, because the, you know, that black soot that you normally see coming out of buses and trucks is completely reduced when you use biodiesel. To learn more about the Cowichan Biodiesel Co-op, as well as see photos, our blog and podcast, go to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thanks for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.